Back in 2008, I wrote an article called Becoming Teacher Librarian 2.0. At the time, teachers had been engaged in using technology for learning for some time, but society as a whole was on the cusp of radical change in how technology would influence our lives. In the article, I made a call for teacher librarians to continue taking leadership for learning with technology and to be intentional about their own professional learning as they sought to become Teacher Librarian 2.0. I said, the world of information is shifting drastically and we, as information specialists in our schools, have a responsibility to understand these changes. If we are to remain the information specialists in our schools, we need to master this new media and understand where it fits into the broader information landscape. We need to become Teacher Librarian 2.0 to help provide context for our Web 2.0 students. Upon rereading the article, I'm happy to see that I had identified the emerging trends correctly, seeing the potential for new contexts for learning, and the growing influence of these contexts on all aspects of the role of the teacher librarian. In 2002, Dr. David Lurcher presented his four cornerstones of the school library program. Developing avid and capable readers, collaborating with teachers in the design of learning, teaching information literacy, and enhancing learning through technology. Lurcher clearly understood technology as an enabler for the unique brand of learning that has always taken place in the library, the free exploration of new ideas. Technology has exploded in the years since, shifting the very way society functions and shifting what our students should expect from their schools in profound ways. Being literate means being able to read and write in multiple formats, Notions of the authority of information have shifted profoundly, and knowing now means taking a learning stance. In the school library program, we've moved from thinking of technology as an enhancement for learning to understanding it as ubiquitous to all kinds of learning. The very notion of what it means to be a reader is shifting. Technology is enabling far deeper collaboration for teachers and students, and contexts for information literacy instruction are vastly more complex. The Learning Commons movement is a response to the need for new ways of educating students, with a focus on inquiry, creative and critical thinking, multiple literacies, collaborative knowledge building, and learning how to learn. The School Library Learning Commons becomes a natural hub for this kind of learning. The Virtual Learning Commons has emerged as an essential element, not only for hosting and sharing resources, but for facilitating collaboration and creativity. Finding the natural connections between the physical and virtual spaces of the library opens up new opportunities for the whole school community. So in 2008, I made the case for becoming Teacher Librarian 2.0. By now, we should all be there, understanding that technology has transformed our very concept of the school library and continues to transform our own understanding of the teacher librarian's role. The TPAC model is a good starting point for understanding competencies for teacher librarians. Seeking to define what it takes to use technology effectively, the model explores the intersections between the teacher's technological knowledge, content knowledge, and pedagogical knowledge. Knowing the ins and outs of using technology is not enough. It is when those three competencies intersect that deeper learning is enabled. Arguably, the teacher librarian's unique process-oriented content knowledge is a critical aspect of this equation. The teacher librarian should strive to reach that magic sweet spot at the heart of TPAC, where technology, pedagogy, and content intersect. The SAMER model helps us to be intentional about how we use technology for learning. Seeking ways to redefine learning tasks informs teachers' thinking. 
The Learning Commons provides the perfect laboratory for exploring new instructional strategies for leveraging technology for learning and new opportunities for teacher-teacher-librarian collaboration. Being Teacher Librarian 2.0 means understanding the school library as a physical and virtual hub for collaboration and creativity, as an experimental learning lab where technology enables deeper inquiry. Being Teacher Librarian 2.0 means taking leadership for professional learning in the school, being a coach, a guide on the side, modeling the importance of constant learning and helping peers understand the confluence of access, skills, and deeper contexts for learning with, through, and about technology. Being Teacher Librarian 2.0 means being an active participant in wider professional learning communities, living the new ways for collaborative learning that we seek to leverage for our students. Being Teacher Librarian 2.0 means being in constant beta, there are no plateaus in the evolution of technology. Being open and adaptable are perhaps the most important competencies and the reason why there's never been a better time to be a teacher librarian.